Okay, inverse function. Uh, the question says, consider the function f defined by, we have a function f of x defined by y equal 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. Where for sure x belongs to r because it's a polynomial function. So domain is also r. Find a function g defined by the same rule, the same rule which is this rule, the same rule, which is y equal to x squared plus 4x plus 1, by the same rule as f, <coughs> which has an inverse, and find its inverse. Why this has no inverse? We have to find a function, another function, g of x, with same rule, but with different domain. Because this has no inverse. Let's see why this has no inverse first. y equal 2 into, <coughs> right? x squared plus 2x plus 1. Let me make this as a squaring value, completing the square, which is equal, right? 2 into x squared plus 2x. We take the coefficient of x, which is 2, divided by 2 is 1. Square it, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1. We square it, we add it, and we subtract it because we... 1 plus 1 minus 1 as if I didn't do anything. Now, 2 into <clears throat> x squared plus 2x plus 1. It's a completing square value. It's x plus 1 to the power 2. We multiply also 2 with minus 1. It's minus 2. And we have plus 1 outside, so it's minus 1. Now, y equal this value. Why this value is has no inverse? We know that to have an inverse... It should be one-to-one -one function. One-to-one -one function. This is not one-to-one -one function. This is many-to-one -one function. Because let's let's say <coughs> x is uh, zero. If we take x is zero for x is zero, so we have y equal, right? Two into zero plus one square minus one, which is two times one square two minus one is one. And for x equal minus 2, y equal uh, 2 into minus 2 plus 1 square minus 1, which is equal. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Square it, it's 1 times 2, it's 2 minus 1, it's 1. So this is many to 1. We have two different inputs, x equals 0, x equal, and x equal minus 2. They have the same output. So 0 1 to 1, and at the same time, minus 2 to 1, right? So it is many to 1, it's not 1 to 1, so it has no inverse because x belongs to r. We can take any value of r. So we have to make some restricted values to have the same function with no, with, uh, no, uh, with some restricted values to have it <clears throat> does not uh, uh, sorry, we, we, to, to make it as a function g of x with a new domain with some restricted values. In this case, we will have it as 1 to 1. How? This number we took here is greater or equal 0. This number is less than 0 or less than or equal 0. So if we <coughs> simply, we take this squaring value because this is the problem. As you can see, 1 square gives me 1 and minus 1 square gives me also 1. In this case, what we do we write this formula, we rewrite this formula as I did, as completing the square. So we will have a squaring value of x, and we just choose any one of those values, either x plus 1 greater or equal to 0, or x plus 1 less than or equal to 0. In this case, in this case, we let's say let x plus 1 be a greater or equal to 0 value. This means x should be greater or equal to minus 1. So any value we choose now from minus 1 and up will be 1 to 1 function, will be 1 to 1 function. And uh, the opposite value uh, or the other value that will give me the same output, it will be less than or equal to minus 1. It will be less than minus 1. This means we will not have any uh, problem over here. So what is g of x? <coughs> Let, what is g of x? g of x is equal 2 into x plus 1 square minus 1, which is the same rule if we expand it with like f of x, but where 
x is greater or equal to minus 1. I found g of x, and that was the question. But we have to find its inverse, right? What is its inverse? y equal, how to find the inverse? y equal 2 into x plus 1 square minus 1, right? <clears throat> we interchange. Instead of y, we put x to find the inverse each time. So x is equal to into y plus 1 square minus 1. And we have to go to find y, right? Let me start from here. This implies that 2 into y plus 1 square is equal to x. Let's take minus 1 to the other side. It will be plus 1. Divide by 2 both sides gives me. <clears throat> this implies y plus 1 squared. It should be equal to x plus 1 divided by 2. This implies y is equal y plus 1 without squaring is equal plus or minus radical x plus 1 divided by 2. So we will end up with y equal, right? Minus 1 plus 1, take it to the other side, minus 1 plus or minus 2 possible values because we took out the square, right? We have to make plus or minus square root of this value. That's great. Which one we have to take? Which one we have to take? <clears throat> when we say the domain of G is X greater or equal, domain of G is X greater or equal minus one. This means the range of G inverse, right? Domain of G is the range of G inverse, the same, which is Y should be greater or equal to minus one. Uh, how y should be equal to minus 1. The, uh, let me say that again. When we say domain of g, this means it's the same as the range of the inverse. The range of g is the same as domain of the inverse. Since the domain of g gives me that x greater or equal minus 1, this means range, range of the inverse, and we found the inverse over here, right? This is g inverse. G, range of the inverse, it should be y greater or equal minus 1. What's the mean y greater or equal to minus 1? This means y should be minus one how to be greater than minus one we subtract or we add we add to it a value so it will be this one over here so this one is the correct g inverse of x not both right not both so that's it y should be equal minus one plus radical x plus one divided by two this is the g inverse of x and that's it <clears throat>